Northland True Value. They sell bait. Alright, this is Brad from the bait shop at Northland True Value. We got shiners for five bucks a dozen, smelts for seven bucks a dozen, and worms for three bucks. Just make sure you stop by and see us this summer. Alright, welcome to Gills Great Outdoors again. We are out here on the lake right now, fishing for pike and bass and white perch on Sabatis Lake. And it's uh about five o'clock. Already caught some, so we'll show you that. Hope you enjoy it. Fish on. Yeah, nice little pike to start the day off. We'll take that. Not bad at all. Alright, there it is, our first one. We'll put them back. Woo! Bass, ladies and gentlemen. We got a nice little bass here. Get out of there, get out of there. Smally. Big smally. Not big, but nice smally. what we like to see. I haven't even been here five minutes. Nice healthy smallie right there. All, All right, I just want to fun. introduce you guys to someone. This is uh, Jim. He's uh, one of my fishing buddies today. He's been doing a lot of the camera work for the last couple days and he's got a rod out here. He's waiting. He's Wait had for the first fish of 2010. Yep. I want to get it with Gil. I want to get it on camera. Not looking too good right now, but I'm thinking the sun's about right. The sun's still a little high. Well, it's all right. Well, we've got plenty of times. That's what I'm saying. Put some fresh. Where's my on. bobber? Wait, hold this. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. No, nope, never mind. Lost line. All right. So back to Jim. Um, we're running out of battery, so say something quick, Jim. I think we're gonna catch a fish in ten minutes, and I put a friggin' guarantee on that. All right, Jimmy's got his first fish here, and it's within his 10-minute time frame. Oh, dude, that was like three minutes. Oh, what do you got? Pull him up. Oh, that's a nice bass, Jim. Do the old swing up. Swing him up. Get him up here, Jim. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah! Cool fish. Nice. Nice fish, Jim. That, was, that wasn't 10 minutes. That was like... Two, three minutes. What do you think, Jim? How's that? I don't know. That's better than Frankie the fish, I think. Better than Frankie. Look, the dog oh, wants dog it. The wants dog it. wants that like crazy. Nice bass, nice smallmouth. You want to eat them? No, I'm going to throw them back. I want them to get bigger. Okay. First fish 2010 right there. Hey, no. Nice. You want? Yep. Catch another one. Car coming. There we go. I'm gonna take this hook right out real quick. Another nice white perch. Could eat it if I wanted to, but we're gonna let him go. All right, here it's uh, about 7:30, Jim. No, not 7:30. It's about seven. And uh, prime time. Yep. You think it's prime time, huh? We have about. I gotta make a prediction, cause that's when I catch. So what's your prediction? I'm going to say now seven minutes. And I'm going to say it's going to be a, a white perch. Twelve inches long. My bobber's down. Here, take the camera. Oh, I lost him! Oh, it wasn't even seven minutes for me. That was seven seconds. Oh. No bait. All right, we'll rebait and we'll try again. Jim's hooked up. It ain't very big. Little pike. It's a little pike. Get him in. There you go, Jim. Second fish of the day. Got another half hour fishing left. Be careful with his teeth now. Not bad. The fish. Nice pike. Nice little pike. Oh, blame in here. Reel up, reel up. Boom. Nice little pike. Come off the hook. That, that fish, you know, that's a nice fish right there. That fish fought hard. He felt good on my rod. It was fun. So, let's see what else we can get. One more. One more. You think we get one more, Jim? Oh, two more. Two more? Nice. Get this. Get a little fight to him. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's got a good fight. Oh, it's another pike. 
Another pike, about 20 inches probably. In the old heave ho, Jim. Nice. Here we go. Third fish of the night. Probably the biggest one for me. Definitely the biggest one. That's a nice fish. I'll take that. There he goes. Nice. All right, send him off, Jim. I'm gonna. Ha I think I'm gonna catch one more fish. You we think got, we're gonna catch? We them? got two more bait. One more is kicking. One more fish, and I'm out of here. Bass. It's a big bass. It's a big bass. A big bass. Big bass. Big bass. I told you, you wanted to... Oh, I'll take him, though. Oh, look at that bass. Well, we can't leave. No, we can't leave. That was... Man, we just shut the camera off 20 seconds ago, and we got that nice... A little dirt on him, but that's a nice largemouth bass. He would have done good in the fishing tournament this morning, but... You know, we decided not to enter, and we just like to do it for fun. Then we'll get him back. Well, we can't go anywhere, folks. It's the last half hour of fishing and it's starting to pick up. Oh, nice white perch lost him. Did you see him? Yeah, I saw him. Nice white perch. He don't count, but that was a fun fish. I had I reeled him in for about 60 feet, so it's getting hot. It's getting hot. One more. Uh, fish again. It's a bass. It's a largemouth bass. Whoa, here we go. Oh, I love catching these bass. Oh, Jim, get your rod. Get your rod. Jim, what happened? Get the rod! I went to go get the camera. We need to get this bass off. Hold, hold all, the camera. All devastation just this happened. Is devastation. This is not devastation, Jim, because that... Jim, that was an expensive you. fish. Tell him what happened, Jim. Well, apparently I had a fish on while the camera was rolling. And he nice took fish. my pole and I basically watched it... Watched it fish away. Are you going to buy me another rod? I'll buy you another rod. I'll as good as that one? Better. Because I'm going to catch that fish and your rod. What if that rod just pops up, dude? There is a fish running around with a rod attached to him. He just took my rod. He's screwed. He's, He's screwed? He is screwed. Someone, someone's going to get a nice rod. I don't think so, dude. Where is it? Dude, that piece of driftwood just sank. Was that the rod? Is that the rod? I don't know. He it's attached to it, isn't it? I'm going after it. I'm going after it. Well, we've been over here discussing what happened for two minutes. And the driftwood just went down. So Gil is going to get aggressive. Grab the driftwood. Hopefully the pole and a fish. That's it for tonight's show. This morning I went out and caught four nice bass on the Anscoggin River. You can see that on the video before this one. But, uh, just had lost the rod. I gave it to Jim, lent it to Jim. I had a fish on. We were fiddling with the camera, watching the fish, and boom. Jim's rod's on the ground. Boom. Goes in the water. Takes right off. We saw this piece of wood that was, this log that was on the comes off the bottom it was bouncing up and down bouncing up and down like it might have had something on it so I went over and checked it and see if anything was on it and I poked myself in the eye when when I went underwater with the stick and nothing on it and how's it look Jim uh, it's not bad dude I think you'll live I think I'll have a black eye you might it might be a shiner shiner but what a story though what a story I guess it's all replaceable. That's you got a black eye fishing. That's the best thing. It's a great story. We're going to be able to tell someone. And sometimes, all replaceable. Sometimes the fish fight back. Sometimes the fish fight back, and sometimes the fish do get you. But uh, that's about it from here, so we'll see you next time.